In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace C.R. a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Thursday, the 18th of April, 2024, third week of Easter, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Judith Tabita Ngankam, celebrating her birthday today from Wuppertal, Germany, takes for us the first reading. Foliba Lewis celebrating his birthday today from Bermenda, Cameroon, text for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel and preaching the word of God for us today is Father Peter Po Ibeaga celebrating his priestly anniversary today from Manfred Diocese in Cameroon. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those who are freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. See, here is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. In those days, an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go towards the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert road. And he rose and went. And behold, an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a minister of Cardans, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of all her treasure, had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go up and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I? unless someone guides me. And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the passage of the scripture which he was reading was this. As a sheep led to the slaughter or a lamb before its sharer is silent, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken up from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, Please, about whom does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture, he told him the good news of Jesus. And as they went along the road, they came to some water And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord cut off Philip. And the eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. 
But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing on, he preached the gospel to all the towns till he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 66, verse 8 to 9, 16 to 17, 20. Our response is taken from Psalm 66, verse 1. And the response is, Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound. Of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell you what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with exhortation ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold from me his merciful love. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Gospel acclamation is taken from John chapter 6, verse 51. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread which came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone who eats of this bread, he will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading. From the Holy Gospel, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 6, verses 44 to 51. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day it is written in the prophets and they shall all be taught by god everyone who has heard and learned from the father comes to me that not that anyone has seen the father except him who is from god he has seen the father truly truly I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, if you have been very attentive of the gospel passages we have been reading this week, the third week of Easter, you would notice that it comes from the chapter 6 of St. John's Gospel. And like anybody who knows the Bible, chapter 6 of St. John's Gospel deals with the discourse of Jesus on the bread of life. St. John brings Jesus Christ to the limelight as the bread of life and he has this long discourse with the people trying to make them to understand that he is the bread that has come down from heaven we began on monday with the passage uh, which shows immediately after the feeding of the five thousand then he enters that serious discourse and that is what we have been dealing with the whole week today i like us to reflect on what Jesus tells us in the gospel passage of today. Today he tells us, 
clearly and categorically. I am the bread of life. I'd like us to pause a little and reflect on the I am. I am. Jesus tells us, I am. Now, St. John is famous for using this kind of sayings of Jesus, I am. He used it seven times in his gospel. Uh, the first time he used it is what we have today in John chapter 6, verse 35. And Jesus says categorically, I am the bread of life. St. John uses again in John chapter 8, verse 12, when he says, I am the light of the world. St. John again would refer to Jesus using the I am saying, in John chapter 10, verse 7, when he says, I am the door. Again, in John chapter 10, verse 11 and 14, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Then in chapter 11, verse 25, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. In John chapter 14, verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And finally, in John chapter 15, lines, line 1, he uses this very same expression and say, I am the true vine. Now, I don't know if you have ever been in trouble, if you have ever been in difficulty, Probably you are sick and you have no solution for your illness and you are in front of a doctor and you are scared and you are worried and you don't know what to do. And the doctor looks at you and tells you, I am a doctor. I will take care of your health situation. Or maybe you have a legal problem and you are looking for a solicitor and you are in front of a, you're confused, and you are in front of a lawyer, and the lawyer says, I am a solicitor. I will take care of your worries. Now, this is a saying, this saying of Jesus, I am, uh, brings Jesus as the ultimate goal in our life. That Jesus matters. That Jesus is the one who can answer all our worries. When St. John uses this, I am, we come back to Jesus uh, and it's like Jesus stands in front of you. Jesus stands in front of us and looks at us in the eye and nods his head in agreement and hits his chest and says, I am Jesus. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door, I am the shepherd, I am the resurrection and the life, I can give you life again. I am the way, the truth and the life, I am the true vine. So my dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends, I don't know what problems you are going through, I don't know what difficulties you are facing, I don't know what is your challenges, the challenges you go through in life. It might be financial problems. Jesus says, I am there for you. It might be health issues, which you don't know how to get out of it. Jesus says, I am there for you. It could also be uh, relational problems, emotional crisis, all the difficulties that we go through in life. I can feel the voice of Jesus assuring us today I am the bread of life. Jesus tells us, he is the bread of life. I am there for you. I am there as Jesus who is present in the consecrated bread and the consecrated wine. I am Jesus who comes to you. I am there always for you. So do not be afraid. I am Jesus. The Second Vatican Council in the liturgical constitution, Sacrosanctum Concilium, 
tells us that the Holy Eucharist is the source and the summit of Christian life. Jesus is always with us. Jesus will always be with us. Like the Ethiopian eunuch who we discover in the first reading of today, uh, he is reading the Old Testament and he is reading a passage. And when Philip asked him, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone guides me? The Old Testament he was reading foreshadowed the new and the New Testament fulfills the old that Jesus Christ, who is that meek lamb, he is the one who stands in front of us and says, I am. Like the Ethiopian eunuch, he tells Philip, that is water, baptize me. Let me be baptized in Christ. We are all called to surrender ourselves to Jesus Christ. We are called to surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. We are called to let go of everything and fall in the hands of Jesus, who is the bread of life. My dear brothers and sisters, whatever you are going through now, whatever is happening in your life, Jesus knows and Jesus comes to us and Jesus assures us with this same word, I am. I am there with you. I shall be with you. I shall walk with you. I am the life, the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the truth and the life. And he says categorically, I am the vine and you are the branches. Let us continue to be glued onto Jesus, tied onto Jesus, hang onto Jesus, remain with Jesus because he is the be all and the end all of our life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Thursday to you. Thanks be to God. Amen.